Hi, I'm just going to quickly show you a um, way of searching in a Microsoft Access database and then I'm going to show you a custom built utility using some access forms of how you can search and make it a little more user friendly and protect your data at the same time. We can see and if I go to any table for example we know that you can search by records by either using the search tool down here so I type in a city you can see how it highlights the first matching results. Alternatively, you may want to use something like com Command F or Control F, which is effectively finds the search and replace dialog box, and you can search for across or a particular field. However, the downside to this is you are actually in the database, and you can actually physically change the data, which may not be something you need to do, or you want to protect the data um, from obviously misuse. So, what you can do is I either have a form which is specially built and the one I've built here is called the form search tool which is more of a list view and you can see that this is uh, based on again similar customers but the idea is now I can search in some controls up here so for example if I type in UK you can see that it's found all my UK based clients or if I again type in USA you can see my US based clients so it's dynamically searching as I key in if I key too much then of course unless it's a match then it's not going to find any records but this is a predefined form that you can use um, it's very easy to apply and it can be searched across more than one column and you can even customize this using the settings command here so for example this is a specially designed form which looks at the different source files from here which are the tables and queries that are available to your database and again you can add your own database tables to this and if you choose for example a source file from here then the main screen changes and you can start to set the parameters so for example if I wanted to choose let's say I have six fields it wipes down the six fields let's say I want to base it on just the orders table confirm my action and then what you can have here you can see all the different fields available and now I can start to pick the fields I want to see in my final screen back at the main search so perhaps I choose order date some other fields and again you can see this is pretty easy to sort of set and choose so again as I'm building it you may notice the SQL statement being generated for me which is again can be edited for more advanced users but essentially this is what is building for me that's going to support the previous screen if I want to display any of these fields and I must tick the options as I tick the options I can obviously numerically set them which is set to centimeters so effectively what I'm doing here is showing you how you can customize your look and feel of any of your fields you want to display so again just simply key the values in in addition to if I want to search by any of these fields then by enabling the criteria then you are effectively allowing them to search across that field as well so perhaps if I choose just these three fields even though they're displaying these other fields here then I can use these three fields at which my search criteria will work so here I choose the matching date type, I know customer ID is text based, this will be a date based one, and this will be a number based, then it's building the parameters for my search tool. If I click save and close, it creates the new environment as per settings, and now I have those three key fields which I can search by. So if I typed in A, W, it produces all my Sawyer accounts, and again you can see the shipping name is, happens to be the same client, but it will be matched across all the fields that I've chosen to search across. You'll also see if I typed in 100, unless there's a value of 100 somewhere, clearly it's not going to display. But I know I can see in an order amount for 135, and clearly as I type in 135, it becomes matched here. And if it were a date, likewise, it would be matched by dates. So this second tool is for date ranges or number ranges. So you can see that I can choose anything I want to display, and you can find the matches accordingly. So this is very customizable and it's something which you can easily adapt by adding it to your own database and the beauty about this I have not locked down the forms the code is there for you to display and you can modify this to your own customization including redeveloping the tool altogether so this is a search tool utility offer I'm offering on my website now which is at accessdatabasetutorial.com go there take a look at it money back guarantee if you don't like it very reasonable hundreds of hours about develop, develop, developing this but it's a site which you can use immediately. Thank you.